of America launching a new program to help minorities buy their first homes. They're calling it the Community Affordable Loan Solution, or CALS. It offers zero down payment mortgages with no closing costs to first time home buyers in some black and Latino communities. No minimum credit score and no mortgage insurance required. Instead, the bank will look only at an applicant's income and home location. CBC senior real estate correspondent Diana Olick is with us. How effective is this going to be bridging that sort of wealth gap? Well, Shep, the Bank of America program is certainly going to help some potential buyers who might otherwise not have been able to become homeowners. But remember, the program is only in five cities right now, Charlotte, Dallas, Detroit, L.A., and Miami, and only in certain neighborhoods in those cities. The borrowers don't need a down payment, but they are going to have to prove their ability to make those monthly payments. And given today's high prices and high interest rates, that's hard even if you do get the down payment granted to you. And, of course, this is not exactly new. There are several other banks doing similar programs. Wells Fargo, for one, has a 3% down payment loan for low-income consumers that can be combined with funds from family or other down payment assistant programs. And remember that the VA has no down payment loans for veterans and veteran family members. Then there are no down payment USDA loans for people in rural areas. And that's an important one, as more and more people who can now work remotely are actually moving to rural areas. So there have been these programs in place for a while, and we have not seen much of any dent in that home ownership gap, unfortunately. I hadn't heard about most of those. You know, and in, in the last hour, I mentioned the 30 year fixed is firmly above 6%. And, you know, these higher rates, it's got to be affecting a lot of sellers. Yeah, because imagine a seller who says, okay, I want to sell and I want to move up to a bigger home. Well, they've got, what, 2.75 or 3% on their rate that they refied a year and a half right. ago or two years ago. Did they want to move up to six and a quarter percent? I don't think so. And what that does is it just stops the chain of buying so that the move up buyer doesn't leave the home for the first time buyer to get in. That is those low income buyers who need the more affordable homes. If the people owning those can't afford or don't want to lose their mortgage rate to move up to a home, that home is not existing for sale. Anymore. Is that already starting? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's why supply is so low on the bottom end of the market. You have investors there and you have people just stuck in those homes saying, I just can't fathom, even if I want the bigger house, not only paying more for it, but having my interest rate being twice what I have now. It changed so fast. So I've never seen anything like that. Yeah. Diana? Thank you. Thank you.